What we're going to talk about is sometimes is, is the summer of 2010. And it, we had record, it was a true test of the genetics. And what we're emphasizing in this is some of our, um, the bent grasses. And as you know, we, we introduced our new bent grasses onto the market a, a few years ago. And this was the first real summer to test out what we thought we had on um, genetics. There was record heat and humidity across much of the United States and Europe. And I, I think about, I read some of these people, how quickly they forget with the record snowfall how bad last summer was. They're all like, oh my gosh, it, it, there's no global warming because we've got snowfall, but they forgot what last summer was like so quickly. Um, our new cultivars were all developed for heat stress, but this was very severe, and especially at the southern end of the adaptation zone, um, we really tested them. Okay, wanted to go over just a little bit. Um, people hear a lot about Tyen 007, but we're gonna be show you some data about McKinsey and um, SR 1150 that maybe you haven't been looking at as much or seen. Did excellent performance, especially blended with Tyen. It has very good cool season growth and summer performance. Um, one of the things we've been finding, both from reports on golf courses and actually from some um, university trials, both McKinsey and Tyee may perform better in the shade than older creeping bent grass cultivars. Recent data from Wisconsin has shown Tyee performance as good or better than velvet bent grass in the shade. And velvet bent grass has always been very promoted for shade performance in um, in these performance things. SR1150, we've got some data I'm gonna show you in a minute showing both recent greens and fairway trials show high performance. In the last NTEP, we had put 1150 into the fairway trial, not the greens trial, because with its dollar spot resistance, we thought that was a better fit for it. But we wanna emphasize that SR1150 is also very excellent in greens and it's done very high performance. And 007 in the new NTEP that just went out, we've shown very high performance on golf courses. And in the new fairway NTEP, it's really showing very high performance on fairways. So people ask, is it good for fairways? Yes, it's excellent for fairways. We've got a new blend we're coming out, and this is for the US markets because the, the international markets, you all have your own different things. But it's called Dominating Creeping Bent Grass Blend a blend of actually Tyee 007 and McKinsey blend. When you get the little sticks or if you come by the booth, it's on our new small report card, this new blend, and it's up for the greens type, designed for greens and teas in the U.S. market. In the U.S., we have many courses currently using a Tyee 007 blend, and we have a few with McKinsey and 007. In Canada, McKinsey and Tyee blend has been used quite a bit extensively. And there's been some excellent data showing the blend strengths on this. And this was some recent data out of Purdue University. These trials were established originally in 2008. And we have the 2009 data. We have all the 2010 data. But they separated out into actually the summer quality. So this is how well they did during the summer at Purdue University. This is at an eighth inch, three millimeters, Green's trial. The blend of McKinsey and Tyee did the best. Tai 007 did right behind it. And if you notice, both those blends did better than either any of the cultivars by themselves did. So that shows you the benefits of blending as you sometimes get some synergy. Here's Tai, and this is what we emphasize. Here's where 1150 is in this Greens trial during the summer. Had excellent performance. Here's 007. Here's Dominant Extreme 7 here. Did very well and much better than like the pin A1, pin A4 that people keep talking about for a blend. Even the Extreme 7 did better on a greens than this particular um, trial. And here's L93 and South Shore. So one of the things I really wanted to emphasize is this is part of why we went in and we actually blended them together for our Dominator blend. 